Hey everyone, I hope you're doing really awesome today. Today I'm gonna to be doing a video tutorial on this mod that I use and I absolutely love it. Didn't realize I needed it until I got it and I adore it. It's a HUD mod to change how your HUD looks in Starfield. With this HUD mod, if you've ever found that you didn't really like that whenever you discover a new location, if it pops up in the center of your screen, that would drive me absolutely insane when I would just be exploring and it would just get in my way. I felt like I was blocking my view. This mod moves anything like that down to the bottom of your screen. Same with whenever you get any experience points when you're fighting something it moves it to the bottom of your screen. So with this mod, there are two different main files and you can choose which one you wanna be using for this mod, but I chose just for the location and the XP to be moved to the bottom of the screen. There is another option to disable enemy health and hit markers. This isn't really something that I wanted, but if you wanna use it, this is, you can use it at your leisure. So for this mod, I'm gonna be showing you how to install it for just the location and the XP to be moved to the bottom. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna download it manually. Once you do that, I'm gonna show you how to enable archive and validation. This mod needs archive and validation to be enabled. I will show you two different methods like I've shown in my previous videos. For this first method for enabling archive and validation, you're going to want to navigate to this PC or your PC name, documents, my games, and then find Starfield. Once you're in there, if you do not have a Starfield custom .ini file, we're going to create one right now. First thing I want you to do, if you don't see a .ini or a .txt or a .whatever, if you don't see that, I'm going to show you how to fix that and so you can see it because I've had a lot of people mention it. So you're going to press view and then you're going to press this file name extensions. Make sure that is checkmarked. Once that's checkmarked, you'll see if I remove it, it's gone now. So you want to have that checkmarked. So once that's done, you're going to right click the screen and go to new and then put text document. After that, you're going to name it Starfield custom dot INI, delete the TXT, do not delete the dot and just type in dot INI. Don't put the, don't, don't put an extra dot, just leave the dot. Make sure that you're spelling it correctly. There have been a few people who have said they've spelled it incorrectly and didn't realize, make sure you spell it correctly, double and triple check. So after that, you're going to want to open the Starfield custom dot INI that you just created, open it up, ignore any of this that I have here, it's not going to be there for you. Nothing's going to be here for you. It's going to be blank. But what you're going to add here, just so I don't confuse you, it's gone. What you're going to want to do is you're going to add these two lines into this INI file. I'll put it in the description below. So you're just going to copy and paste this right into there. And after that, save it and then exit. So that's the first method for archive and validation to be enabled. The second method is going into your Steam. I'm so sorry if anybody has a Game Pass version. I don't know how it works with Game Pass. People have said it's a similar way, but I cannot help you because I don't know exactly what the files look like. So you want to go into your, your Steam, go to Starfield, right click it, go to manage and then press browse local files. After you're there, this this is the second method if the first method does not work for you. You're going to want to go into here and you're going to find the starfield.ini file. If you don't see .ini, again, go to view and check file name extensions to be revealed. After that, open your starfield.ini, it's below your .exe folder, open that up and look for archive. Once you find archive, you're going to want to go here and you want to delete strings, okay? And you're going to press enter after that and you're going to want to add the first line of the text from the last method. So they're going to be like flipped. Okay, but this is only if the first method did not work for you. So just keep that in mind. So after that, make sure you save the file and exit. And now you have archive and validation enabled. So now we're going to work on to installing the mod. So with this mod, it's relatively simple. You're going to want to go back into your Steam folder for your directory for Starfield. And you're going to just stay here for a second. Open up your mod that you just downloaded. So don't get confused. I, I'm going to try not to lose you here. It's not it's not too confusing and it's, it's going to be okay. Okay, so you're going to have your data folder in your Starfield directory. You're going to want to open that up and you're going to look into the interface folder. If you do not have an interface folder, which I've heard a lot of people don't have it, that's okay. Just go to the mod, open up the interface folder here, and you're just going to want to literally just copy and paste this into your uh, Starfield directory. If you do have your interface folder, just open up the interface folder on the mod. You're just going to drag and drop it into here. That's it. Again, if you don't have the interface folder, all you're going to want to do is just get this and you're just going to drop it into here. Okay. And that's it. It should work for you whenever you play your game. <laughs> and that's it. That's how you install the mod. It's not too difficult to install, but if you need any help, let me know and I'll try my best to reply in the comments. If you need any help with any other mods to install and you want me to make a tutorial for them, please let me know. Um, and I will do my best to make a video on them. Um, I really don't know what other mods people need help with. So I'm struggling to like, 
figure out which ones you want me to do tutorials on to help you guys out. But I hope this helps you. I really like this mod. It should work relatively the same if you are wanting to use the other files that they have with this mod. You're just going to get it, put it in the interface folder and drag and drop those into there. It's going to be literally the same. This is just preference for me that I just want to use the location and XP one. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this helped you at all or I hope you like this mod. I like it a lot. I think it's something that's very simple and nice, nice little quality of life kind of thing. It's very irritating to have it just smack dab in the middle of your screen and it's kind of interfering with what I'm looking at. <laughs> so thank you very much for watching and I hope you have a really good day. Goodbye.